Good evening, YouTube. This is Kamikaze Games, and welcome back to my favorite game on PlayStation 2. This is Test Drive Eva Destruction. Now, you may be wondering, Kamikaze, didn't you already do a full gameplay of the career mode? Well, yes, yes I did, and you should check that video out as well. All 29 parts. But this time, we are going to do something different. You see, I was inspired by many a true nerd's Fallout New Vegas You Only Live Once playthrough. And I was also watching his other videos, and I wanted to do a kill everything run of some game, but I don't know which game that I could do that in. But in any case, um, as for this game, I was inspired by You Only Live Once. Playing the entire game through on one life bar seemed impossible. And I started thinking about what other things in my gaming career have I thought have been impossible. And something that I thought was impossible was playing through the entire game using only a top. I actually started a series of that, I'd say last year, but I deleted the session because it really sucked. The commentary was just atrocious, but in any case, um, I saw that series and I was thinking, you know what? If he can do the entire game of Fallout New Vegas on one life bar, who knows, maybe I can play through the entire game use it, of Test Drive Eva Destruction using the car that you start out with. The old car you've inherited from Grandma isn't good for much, but luckily there is an Eva Destruction coming up. Maybe you can make some extra cash. Hey, it sure beats a chicken farm. Select Drive Around and get going. This series is going to be the Ode to Grandma. The game... The game itself wants you to sell the top and drive something else, as you'll see once we get to the end of this road. The top isn't going sell this car, and once the car does start getting more and more damage taken, I'm going to have to, um, I'm going to end up not being able to repair it to 100% anymore, and eventually it'll keep getting more and more hits, and eventually it will become irreparable to 50%, and that's when it stops. So what I have to do here is take as little damage as possible throughout the entire game, because I'm not going to be crazy and try to do the entire game on one health bar, because I'm pretty sure that is impossible, no matter what. Because um, you have demolition derbies, you have push-offs, you have point-to-point -point races and Red Roper. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the exploits that I found in the game, and I am going to um, try and win this entire career mode from 100th place to 1st place and win the Destruction Championship at the end. And I'm going to try and do it all using Grandma's top. That's why this is owed to Grandma. Except there is going to be one very specific event that I am going to be a little bit lax with these rules because if the game's going to cheat then I am also going to cheat. I'm pretty sure if you've seen my previous playthrough of Test Drive Eve Destruction, you will know what I'm talking about. Now, this actually is the first game in um, the history of Kamikaze Games, the channel that I've revisited, well, besides um, Solitaire and Livestream stuff. But this will be the first game that I've ever revisited after completing its original series on the Kamikaze Games channel. So there's some history for you. This is actually my second favorite game of all time. I've decided this is my favorite game on PS2. And my second favorite game of all time. I have decided that's how it is. 
It's close competition. I mean, I love the NASCAR games, but there's simply too many for me to rank one of them above this one. So there we go. We took 25 bonus dollars. Now, we're not going to need much money because, of course, um, the, the top is going to be really easy to repair. And I'm going to repair it after every single race. Well, except for the first health bar, actually. Once it gets to, like, 50%, then I'll start doing that, but, um... But if you remember, um, after every 10% of damage that you take, the car becomes 1% irreparable. So once you get 500% damage, your car becomes 50% irreparable. And after completing that race, we have gotten to 99%. So that's 1%. We're 1 500th away from being 50% irreparable. So we're gonna, this is the only time we're gonna be here. Well, maybe except for later on. Um, at the salvage yard, you can buy or sell cars. Well, I'm not gonna be doing that. So I have 100 bucks right now, and I can only buy them off. Because I can't trade in Grandma's car. So we're going to play the game all the way through in this one car, so... Let's go to the first Eve! Oh... Shit. Alright, let's do it. Ashland Smack Fest. So it begins. So, ever since... I've played through this game, at least. I'm gonna say, like, 15 times I've played through career mode. At least. And, um, uh... I have never lost a, um, an Eve since my third playthrough of the game on the final Destruction Championship. That was the previous time that I've lost an Eve. I have, maybe I finished second once in the past before that, and I'm trying to block out that memory. But, um, nope, we're, we're probably going to lose a couple of Eves. We're probably going to finish second in the few, maybe even third. But it doesn't matter, so long as we make it to rank 1. Once we, make, once we make it to rank 2, then we'll have some problems because you must finish first in the Destruction Championship. So I've got to use, and by then, by then, you know, we're, um, we're looking at, um, we're looking at going against rockets. And, um, Gladiators and even Durans. Durans are gonna just eat through my health like fucking, like I'm a fucking pizza. That's just how it's gonna be. That's just how it's gonna be. But I am going to take as few damage as possible, which means we are going to, um, not earn as much money, but like I said, um, okay, we got some slower cars in this event, so that's good. Got the Coyotes up there in front. The fastest cars are these two Polos, so that's okay. I think that's Len Nordberg in the yellow one. I haven't played this game in a while. If we're gonna be perfectly honest. I've been playing Ace Combat 5 recently. And I was announcing throughout the entire series that, oh, I'm gonna do Ode Grandma, I'm gonna do Ode Grandma, and now we're at like part 35 and I'm just starting now. Yeah. So, and plus, when you go on jumps, you are damaged. So that is not going to help me at all. So I'm going to have to try and take as few jumps as possible. But the hits counter is going to be really low. Once we get to stuff like Demolition Durries, I'm just going to hang in the back and and pick off, like, weaker cards. I'm going to try and stay out of everyone's way, especially when we get to 50% irreparability. And I'll take one or two kills here and there. But in a Demolition Derby, like, you can't push yourself out. Like, you can't get one hit and say, fuck it, and escape the ring, like, in a push-off. In a Demolition Derby, you must go until you're either the last car alive or you're dead. Which does not help me at all. But, if you remember, this game's got a lot of exploits in it. 
the faster you hit into someone, the less damage you take yourself. So if you barrel into someone at 100 miles an hour, you'll probably only take 1 or 2% damage, even if your car is really weak. You just gotta be careful that you're the one that's hitting him, and he's not hitting you. Because if they hit you, then you're absolutely fucked. If you hit them, then you're fine. Eh. Trying to get a thumbnail in it for here. There we go. That, that's probably gonna be the thumbnail. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I'm gonna use um, the replay feature and get a uh, um, get a thumbnail once I'm done recording the session. But um, yeah. So that's what we're. That's basically over the past 10 minutes. I have encompassed what we're going to do in this game. So we're at 96% damage. That's not bad. See how it's impossible to get it on one health bar. I don't even think you could complete a single Eve with a brand new car and do it in a single health bar. Like, especially when you get later on when the second event is the Demolition Derby. And then you have a push off at the end. Yeah. This is gonna be hectic when we get to later stages. For now, it's gonna be fine. And then when we upgrade to, um, when we go to Sweeney's Garage and upgrade to 2 or 3. Oh, fuck! Well, there you go. Castle. Well, there you go. There's a whole fucking bunch of damage right away. Really? There's a tire right in the middle of the track, so I'm always gonna... So if anyone comes up on me on that turn, I'm gonna guide them over to the right, and then we're gonna fucking collide. See? Just like that. That's what's gonna happen in that corner. Mark my fucking words. Mark my fucking words. Oh hey, someone moved it, thank you. He's not dead, actually. That guy looked like he was dead, but... Fuck! Ugh! I'm having fun, but yeah. Well, it's gonna get real fun later on, let me tell you. This series is gonna start off slow, but I guarantee you, by like part 10, it's gonna be fucking nuts. Hey, I killed that guy. Bonus points! Whee! So I got a kill. Probably gonna be very few of those in the series. So I'm already down to 63% dead, which means we are 3% irreparable already. Fantastic. Yay. So, um. Yeah, I don't know about this series, guys. This is gonna be a true test of skill and perseverance. Especially when we start finishing second in Eves. Oh jeez. That's unfortunate for you. See, even that little love tap took away 1% damage. You're gonna need to avoid doing that. And avoid running side by side with people so that they can hit me. Jesus. You guys flipping out. Okay. Oh yeah, you hit him that hard. Doesn't look like it took away too much damage from my car, but that little tap from him took away a lot. You know, it's really erratic how it grades. Well, it's not really erratic, but it's just kind of strange how it grades. Pain, suffering, and misery. I might cut out bits and pieces here and there when there's no excitement and I'm not talking. Shit. Well, it doesn't look like it took too much damage. Oh, I'm in the middle of the road! Go, 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 go! Blah, blah, blah! Oh, no one's here. Okay. I got another, I got another kill! <laughs> oh, Jesus. Why are you stopped in the middle of the road? 
Down here, I'll PIT your ass. Yeah. No! Oh! 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 That was almost very bad. Every hit that I don't take now is going to benefit me in the future. That is for damn sure. Until, of course, we get to 50% irreparability. Then it doesn't matter. Well, I'm really foreshadowing the future of this series. It's not, it's not going to be a pretty future. I'll tell you what. Fuck. Wow. That was definitely 1% damage. Oh, shit. I thought for sure I was just going to guide myself right into his ass. He survived. Yay. Made it. That's his third victory. And we're done here. Perfect. Perfect Eve. Got a few hits here and there. Nothing to write home about, but then again, it's probably not going to be, because... Yeah, it's going to get rough in the future. Yeah. But I'm going to say that's probably going to be part one there, so... Thank you all so much for watching some... Test drive your destruction owed to grandma. We're going to see a lot of that top in the future. So strap in, strap on, and get ready for the future of this game. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye.